auction process i will be showing you one example also okay and first we will go towards the example okay from the ppt and then we will go back to the content in the book okay now let us go to this example what is happening over here there is a company which now i want everybody's attention and also help in solving this so there is a company which is planning to sell 1 million share what is 1 million 10 lakh okay now when they went for an ipo there were so many people who issued it that means they showed an interest okay so a was saying that okay i want to buy 1 lakh shares but only at the price of 30 so when you follow a dutch auction process what you are going to do is you are going to start with the highest bidder who is the highest bidder guys who is who is giving the highest price is it f is it c c right how much price is giving 33 and how much how many how many shares is asking right 9 50000 right so if suppose i allocate that 50000 to c then basically how many shares i am left with 9.5 lakhs right who is the next highest bidder after c who is the next f right because that is 31.5 and how many shares he is asking 3 lakh so if suppose i allocate that 3 lakh shares to him how much share i am left with 6.5 lakhs after f who is the next highest bidder e how many shares he is asking 1.5 lakh so i am giving allocating that 1.5 lakhs to him so it's going to be 5 lakhs left with me fairly simple now after e who is the next bidder come on guys after 30.50 who is the next lowest it's it's h right h is going to be there what is the price 30.25 I and mean, how many shares is asking 2 lakh we are left with 5 lakh so we can allocate 2 lakhs to him now how many shares i am left with 3 lakhs now after h who is going to be the next share next uh, highest it's 30 30 dollars right a and how many how many he is asking how many number is asking 1 lakh and i have i am left with only 3 lakh so i can give allocate 1 lakh to him so now i am left with 2 lakhs okay who is the next highest bidder after a it's it's d right it's d and how much shares he is asking he is asking for 3 lakh but i don't have 3 lakh share left so i will allocate only 2 lakhs to him and this is the last price right where i have done the allocation what is that price the price is 29 dollar now this is the price everybody else is going to pay that is how the dutch auction process works okay right so this is the price this becomes a issue price we have been so basically what we are saying is that we are starting from the top okay so that if whoever is bidding highest will get the allot allocation allotted allotment of share but they will only pay the lowest amount of price so that see if i am idly selling to a okay at a very high price i am selling to c at a very high price then that will lead to a discrepancy in the market so what we would try to do is we would try to make sure that everybody gets the same price dhruv answering to your query this is the same scenario that is used in ipo when you get shares allotted that's the logic that they are using and they when they say that okay this stock is issued in the market at this price the issue prices in this example is 29 right everybody okay with this example so that i can take you towards the book now if yes if yes the same process okay same process is being used over here and i want you guys to read this line properly read the entire paragraph it's the same example okay you start from the very highest bid and then you start coming down no dhruv when you go when you want to apply for an ipo you have a price band yes you have to bid between that price band kindly read the paragraph everybody else also kindly read the paragraph and read the line which is highlighted properly
Okay, one more quick point. Please make sure that you guys, nobody is joining from two devices. Gaurav, kindly exit from one of the devices. If we found people joining in from two devices, I will not allow you from the future lectures. Okay. I hope Gaurav, you have listened to what I've just said. Okay, everybody done with that paragraph? I'm taking you towards the next section. So, Bandeep, this is just one of the ways. This is just one of the ways to basically uh, identify the price. There are other methods also. Okay, perfect. So, for the curriculum, they have only explained you Dutch auction.